Hi, as you can probably guess from the title of this video, I'm going to be talking about how to minimize a bed bug infestation. I was in an apartment where I had to deal with these things, and let me tell you, it was hell. Hell on earth. So, if you're going through that same hell, I hope this video helps. Pay attention closely, because I'm going to try to get everything in here in one video, ten minutes. First thing that you have to do when you realize that you have bed bugs and you are determined to stop them is declare war on the bed bugs. If you are passive about bed bugs, the treatments thereof, they will enslave you and you'll you'll be itching all day and your life will suck. And the first rule of combat with any enemy is know your enemy. Bed bugs are about the size of this dot. They're paper thin, and in fact, if I held up these two flashcards, they could fit right in between them. Most of them could. They're very decisive creatures. When the when a when it, it, when the infestation first starts, they will stay in their hiding spot the whole day and when they when they detect that you are there they will go straight to you and straight back they only stop at you to feed and they take no detours and no pit stops um they also have an aversion to hair so they won't go after pets they will they will avoid you the the hairy areas of your body so you know it helps to skip a few shaves trust me and there's a myth uh, that's been perpetuated by experts, and that myth is that they only feed at the daytime. This is false, ladies and gentlemen, because I fell asleep at one in the afternoon one day. I was on a couch, and I woke up four hours later, and I had 40 new bites. So they will feed any time that you sleep. Another thing I forgot to mention with their appearance is that they're also brown in color, and after they have fed, they turn red because their skin is fairly transparent. Um, so now that we know our enemy a little bit better, this is our arsenal. These are the top four, I don't know what you call them, methods, treatments, weapons that we use against, uh, that I use against bed bugs. Sprays, diatomaceous earth, furnace, dryer, iPod. iPod? I yes, I just said iPod. That's the surprise at the end of this video. I'll start with sprays. They must be specifically for bed bugs. If you get them for cockroaches or or spiders or something else, it will not work. And there's a special procedure that you have to follow when you spray for bed bugs. What you do is you take your mattresses and put them outside and peel off all the labels, rip off all the hanging labels. Anything that's not essential to the mattress, take off because bed bugs will hide under there. You want to sp then you spray the mattress and also once you have once you've sprayed the mattress, you go, go back in your room and spray everything um, within 15 feet of your bed or the whole room. Don't, don't spray electronic things like your, that you handle a lot, like your computer, your alarm clock, or anything like that. Um, basically, the idea of spraying your room is to create a little hot box for, for the bed bugs. It'll, it'll kill a lot of them, but it won't, won't get rid of, rid of all of them. So, after you're done spraying, there's this other method known as diatomaceous earth. This can be ordered from Amazon, and uh, ten. I think I bought a five-pound bag for twenty dollars. I don't know if it's still that cheap. Um, and make sure when you order it, you get the food-grade stuff. That's very important because if if it's not food-grade and you inhale it, it will irritate your lungs, and that will suck. So what you do when you have diatomaceous earth is you 
you want to take off all the coverings on the outlets and light switches and sprinkle a little bit inside the, the outlet, the, the little cavity around the plug-in. You can, you know, just cut a, cut a little hole in the corner of the bag and just stick it in there. Um, and if you want to be really extreme, you can, you know, strip the, strip the sheets off your mattress once you've sprayed it and cover the, the entire thing, the entire top of your mattress in the powder and then put the sheets over it and that that worked fairly well for me but you, you have to keep reapplying the stuff so the next the next thing you do has to do with your laundry habits when you dry any batch of laundry any batch of laundry clothes sheets anything towels anything you want to dry it on the hottest setting right there you want to use the hottest setting because that because heat will kill bed bugs they die at 120 degrees Fahrenheit. There is one other method that I have heard of. I have never tried it, but people use their furnace and they turn it up to 120 degrees. They take out all their perishable foods, leave the house for about three days, and come back. And I've heard of some cases where that method has completely eliminated the problem. But I've never been brave enough to try it and haven't found it really necessary. Now, Here's where I get to the surprise. This is where you use your iPod, or you can use your computer. A beam of light there. Hang on. There we go. Okay, we're with that. So you use your frequency frequency generator, and you set it to about seven or eight kilohertz. Anywhere between those those two numbers, and that will chase bed bugs away. It won't kill them, but it will definitely get them away from the source of the noise. And here, I'm gonna do a little demonstration of the frequency generator I have on my iPod. It's a free app; it can be downloaded, you know, in the App Store. Just search frequency generator. And if you, know, if you don't have an iPod, you can use your computer, or um, I don't know how else you would generate seven kilohertz. 7 to 8 kilohertz. Um, but yeah, I'll provide some details in the des description. Hopefully some links. Here's what 7.6 7 kilohertz sounds like. I don't know if you can hear that. Um, sounds very annoying. So if you're, you're the type of person that gets headaches from high-pitched noises, you know, you can just set this before you leave the house for work and, uh, just let it play for about five hours and it will chase them away but this it will only work if you've done everything else Let's shut this darn thing off it annoys me but yes I I'm not sure how how effective this method is but seeing how as I haven't been bitten in three weeks I am fairly certain this is this has definitely caused a a downturn in the population of, of bed bugs here. So I wish you all luck in dealing with your bed bug problem. Um, remember, it's war. Over and out.